Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics. Well, this was going to be uh, a long in-depth video about a power steering conversion on this 56 Buick. Uh, that's not what's happening. Uh, I got caught on eBay, uh, got really badly let down by the kit maker. It's a company called Easy Steer out of uh, in Friends, Friendswood, Texas. Yeah, it's been a nightmare, but I'll show you why. Yeah, so there's not going to be a lot of details about what we did because we just modify everything and, and honestly I just recommend you don't buy the kit. Uh, I would definitely not, you know, if it was a quarter of the price I wouldn't buy it. Uh, this is the first thing we ran into. This is the plate that bolts to the, the aftermarket steering box. What it is, it, it, you cut the actual Buick steering box off the column, you know, as per their instructions. Uh, you install this power box. Uh, using this bracket. Well, the first thing that happened, the bracket wouldn't fit the box. Uh, if you zoom in close here, you can see how kind of raggedy these holes are. They're supposed to have threads in them. This hole here is meant to have a thread in it, and it's too big. You can't, I can't, I can't cut a thread in these. So I rang them up, and they said, oh, yeah, we know there's a problem with those. Um, we'll send you one in a couple of weeks, which they did, but it just dragged the job out another couple of weeks. And that that almost fitted. We just had to modify, you know, like remount a couple of the a couple of the hole, holes that don't have threads in them uh, to make that fit. Uh, we had to modify the chassis to allow the steering box to actually fit flush uh, because the bracket was riding on on the chassis. So there was that. Uh, so we overcame that. Uh, the kit, uh, as it's displayed, shows the setup with a rag joint here. Uh, when it turns up, it's actually a universal joint, which is longer, which just made it much more difficult to install. Uh, so there was that. Uh, and we just kept running into more issues with fitting. Uh, the power steering pump. Now, you can see it here. It's fairly close to the battery. I've had to completely redesign and cut up the bracket that did this. As it came in the kit, this steering box was like four inches this way uh, and right where the battery needed to be. Uh, so I rang him up and said, hey, this is not going to work. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, it, it's a custom application, so you're just going to have to make a new bracket. And I said, but you don't have the correct bracket to make it fit? And they said, no, no, just get yourself some flat steel and cut one out and make a bracket or move the battery to the trunk. Well, this is an old stock 56 Buick. It's not a hot rod. It's the, you know, we're not moving the battery to the trunk. Uh, and I, and I was, I was kind of said, Hey, that's not really okay. Like you should be making a bracket that, that works. And he, his comment was, well, I'll just put it in a box and send it back. Um, which was tempting, but first and first instructions that you get in the instruction sheets they give you is to cut the old steering box off the column because it's a steering box that's like one piece with the column. So you physically have to cut it off. So if you send it back, you're kind of left with a car with no steering box anymore. It's, it's literally just sawed off. So I had to remake the bracket, relocate the pump. Um, this It just gets around the battery positive cable, so that works. Uh, the power steering pump, then when we fired it up, the power steering pump didn't work. It, it's, a, it's a cheap reman pump. It didn't work. Uh, at that point, they stopped uh, responding to my phone calls, stopped answering my calls. And so I had to spring for another pump. Um, and yeah, it, like they wouldn't answer. So I had to do something. Uh, you know, the ladies wait for a car. So yeah, it's just been a really bad experience all around, but I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll pop up in the video there or at the end somewhere there, the actual, uh, the eBay, uh, auction ad, uh, showing the kit and, uh, my best advice to you guys is stay well away from Easy Steer in Friendwoods, Texas. So it's just a very poorly thought out kit. The, you know, the hose rests on, you know, the, where it goes, it, it, it wants to sit on the valve cover. There's just nothing. This, this needs, this is your return line. That needs to be coming out the back of the reservoir and heading down here, not forward and over the battery. Uh, it's just nothing's well done. Like I'm a big fan of the Borgeson uh, power steering kits, and you know they work. They've thought it through. They've got it right. It bolts up, and it's just easy. It's just you know join the dots, follow the numbers. It's easy. This is uh, 
not a kit worth buying. Uh, so, I mean, we got it on, we got it working. You know, I've had to eat a lot of hours modifying everything, that, you know, over and above what we quoted the customer. Uh, but, you know, that's part of being in business. That's, that's how it goes sometimes. But uh, what's nice is having a, a, a little YouTube channel going on and I can let some of you guys know and hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did. So, yeah, that's my tale of woe. I got burned on eBay. It happens. Uh, buyer beware, as they say. All right, guys. Well, yeah, quick short one. So see you on the next one.